training that I, I can tell everybody who, who I train, and I know when they're and when they're here and when they're not here. And I never forget. Came in was like he was he was leaving early. He was trying to leave early, and I told him to sit down. And I sat him down, and I began to ask him three questions. And I think these three questions changed his life. First question I asked him was, "Who do you fight for? What do you fight for? And why do you fight?" You know, and the first thing was the why. The question I asked, I actually asked why first. I said, "Why do you fight?" And he said, "Love." And I was like, "Man, that's yeah, I like that." Next question I asked him, I said, well, what are you fighting for? And he goes, myself. And the last thing he says was, and I said, well, who do you fight for? And he goes, family. And he goes, wait, wait, myself, myself. And I looked at him and I said, this right here is how you would get knocked out. And he looked at me like, what? I said, this right here is how you get knocked out. And he was confused and I said, it's as simple as this. I said, when you fight for someone else, that's how you become stronger. And you make it like, let's make it simple. If someone broke into your house and it was just you in there, what would you do? Would you get scared? Yeah. You'll know to defend yourself, but you'll still be scared at the beginning. But imagine if someone broke into your house and your son is there. You don't have time to get scared. The only thing you have the time to do is get prepared. Prepare for whatever walks through that door. And make sure you're ready. But the thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure that nobody touches your son. That right there is how you're going to win. The why, the love part, yes, 100%. But what do you fight for? You don't fight for yourself. You fight for everybody around you. You fight for everybody that believes in you. You fight for everybody that told you you couldn't make it. That's what you fight for. That right there is how you will build a champion. Who do you fight for? You fight for your family. You fight for your friends. You fight for the people out there, the kids that are getting bullied. You fight for the people that have been knocked out before and got back up and fought again. That's what you fight for. You fight for those that have lost hope and need hope now because they're gonna look for that new. And that's how I train, you know, and that's how, that's how K-Man has changed. He's not fighting for himself anymore. He's fighting, heck, he's fighting for you. He's fighting for me. He's fighting for his mother, his son. Everybody. And that's how I know Caveman's gonna go out there and he's gonna do something he's never done before. He's gonna go out there and he's gonna put on a show, not just the entrance, but in the ring. We've been seeing nothing but glimpse of it. We've seen a glimpse in his first fight since this loss. In the second fight, we've seen a huge glimpse. But we have yet to see the full thing all come together. Man, I believe that this Chandler fight, you know what? I take back what I said earlier. Yeah, it is big. It is big. Because what K-Man's getting ready to do is he's getting ready to tell you that for all those kids out there, for everybody out there that's ever been knocked down or hit in the face so hard and they feel like they couldn't get up, that when you get another opportunity, you get another chance to go back and fix or change what knocked you down, you take advantage of it. And you make sure it doesn't knock you down again. You make sure you stand up and you step up to the plate. And that's how you change. That's how we'll actually see K-Man evolve. We'll find out real soon if he evolved. And I think that Chandler, he'll be the way to show it, 100%. You know, he made a comment that really got me pumped up. He said, I hit K-Man on that big old K-Man head of his. That's how I knocked him out. And so when I trained K-Man, I almost hit him on his head. I keep continuing to just hit him on his head. Why are you hitting me? I said, because I want to see if I can knock out that big caveman head of yours. And then fire him up and then to get him pumped up. Because I knew that right there, he didn't think about what Chandler said. And when, K when Chandler gets ready to hit him on that big caveman head of his again, it's funny, but it won't be empty this time. It's going to be solid and he can hit as hard as he wants. But I'm pretty sure he might hurt his hand because there's something in that caveman head now. And that's how I know he's involved.